Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, character controls and getting our touch to work to get our character to move in a platforming like way. So I opened up a blank project. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here just so then we could see. All right. And what we're going to do is here, I'll zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So let's go ahead and just build some of the basic pieces. So we're gonna do a sprite, then do character. And right now our character is still gonna be pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna put, not, not solid in this behavior, but solid meaning like a square that's filled. And we're gonna go edit behaviors. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add scroll two as well as platform. All right, and then let's go ahead and just make a platform. So I'm going to go back to Sprite, call it platform, platform, and we're going to go ahead and do that here. Give it a different color for right now. There we go. And I'm going to make it something like that. And we're going to call it good. And then what we're going to do is add a solid to this. And so that's going to allow us to do this. And, um, to allow us to have it land like this. So we get to move around. And now what we're gonna do is, um, if you have um, the ability to add layers and so forth, we're gonna add a new layer. So we're gonna hit right click, add a layer to the top here in the layer section. And I'm just gonna call this controller guide, okay? And the reason I'm gonna do this is just to show you how we can split this up. So what we're gonna do is we wanna split up the screen into quadrants to then dictate what's going to happen when our uh, touch event is going through this. So let's go ahead and just make sure we add our touch event here. All right, and so now I'm going to make a couple boxes, all right? So, First things here, we're gonna make a sprite and we're just gonna call this uh, left controller. And I'm just gonna give these different colors. And what we're gonna do right now is I'm just gonna split this in like half. What you probably wanna do is make sure it's actually half, right? So uh, well, I'm just gonna eyeball this for right now. And then uh, I'm gonna double click and go to add to uh, get a text. So left controller text. I'm gonna go do that here. And I'm just gonna say this is left controller. And I'll just make it a bit larger so we could all see it. So we're gonna do this. There we go. All right, so now we have left controller here. So we're gonna add another sprite and we're gonna say right controller and do a different color just so then, oops, I think I picked that color already. So let's go, there we go. As long as it's different and we just build this up. And this is just for a visual representation, but also like a very easy trick to kind of control how you want some of your stuff to work, okay? So now we're gonna oops, double click and add a text and this is gonna be right controller text. Do this here, we're just gonna say right controller and then I'm gonna make this size 48 and then I'm also gonna just change the horizontal alignment to the right so then it just kind of looks like this. There we go, nothing fancy, but we have this. Now, what we're gonna do is, I think this is visually not centered and whatnot. Let's do this for now, there we go. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it where if you are using one side or the other, we want to simulate our character to move. Now, the thing is with how we have this set up, we can't see what's behind it. So I, I want you to click on the layout of controller guy where the properties pops up here. And what you wanna do is just for now, we're gonna change the opacity of it to 15%. And 
that way you can kind of still see the background, but uh, you could see what's going on, okay? And this is just right now to make sure we understand what's going on with our stuff. And the other thing before you click out of this is to change your parallax to zero, zero, because we do not want this to move at all, okay? So now if I actually hit play and you go, this is gonna kind of be right in the middle type of thing, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click X here. So now let's go ahead and get the, the character moving with your touch element. So let's go ahead and go to our event sheet and I'm gonna double click here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on touch, hit next, and we're gonna go look for uh, one that's called is touching and an object. So we have it right here. So we're gonna double click that and we're gonna say, okay, well, if I am touching the right controller, I wanna move right. And in order for us to do that in our action, we pick our character and being that we have the platform piece in there, in the platform section, there's something called simulate control. You want to click on that, hit next, and then you want to be, tell it which way you want it to go. So we're going to go right. And then we do the same thing to left. So I'm just going to copy, paste, change this from right controller to left controller and change this from right to left. All right. And once you've done these two things, you could go back and now you could hold down one side or the other and it's going to go and you can even go back and forth. And now notice how what you essentially have done is split your screen in half where you could use your fingers uh, and slide to one side to the next to get your character to go. So this is a very cool way to kind of get a, a character going without creating a, a like a little uh, joy, joy pad on the screen itself or anything like that. So now the thing we need to do is add jump. So let's go ahead and add the jump one and we should be done. So we're gonna double click here and I'm just gonna call this jump controller, jump controller. All right, and pick a different color. Why is this, oh, everything's darker because of my, there we go. All right. So now I'm going to Go up here and kind of be like, okay, if you do like the top half, then it's gonna go there, right? And this is where you get to play around with how do you want your controls to work and so forth. There's a lot of cool games that actually utilize this type of mechanic. So now that you got the jump controller there, notice how it's like, but my text isn't there or this text is gone. We could kind of move it here so you could see it and so forth, uh, but it does the job. So now in here, I'm just gonna copy paste this and within three lines of code, you can do a left, right, up and jump. So now that you have that, so you're just saying, if you're touching the object, jump controller, it's gonna do a jump. And you could do this where now if I click here, notice how it's going to decide which way it is. And it's like, okay, cool. I'm going to jump here, jump there, jump. And notice how if I stay up here, it doesn't keep jumping. Okay. So you get to decide, well, do you want it to keep jumping every time? Or do you want it only to jump when you do and when you actually touch the area above? So now this is how you could kind of get your touch event to kind of trigger these pieces all right so in conclusion what we did was we created a very simple guide here uh, with all these pieces uh where we have this as the jump controller the left controller the right controller and we made sure that underneath even the jump right was covered okay so that, that's very important that you fill up the whole space and in our event sheet we just use these three events and you could get uh, your screen controlling uh, a character in a platforming-like game.